guys <clears throat> it's Saturday morning and I'm on my way to the uh, friend of the library this specific um, friend of the library is only open on Saturday mornings from like 10 to something I don't know what else I hope 10 because I have if it's not open at 10 I, I can't go till later today so my daughter's in a golf tournament today so I just wanted to hit this up before I go meet her before she tees off um, I don't stay the whole day with her at the tournaments anymore or walk with her. She'd rather do it herself. And um, it's too hot and I'm on medication that doesn't do well. Uh, I can't be in the sun. So, hmm, I'm not seeing the sign yet. Oh, there's the sign, it's open, good. So I just wanted to show this Friends of the Library to you. The books are usually around a dollar, I think, or maybe two for hardbacks, maybe a dollar, 50 cents or a dollar for, um, for, uh, paperbacks so I could go down let's go down in the garage today and park because it's hot and because you're with me usually I just uh, okay I'm gonna go down here we're gonna get we're gonna first we're gonna have a head-on collision with this guy he's giving me the stink eye and I didn't do anything wrong but turn a corner so here let's go down to the bookseller isn't this kind of cool though oh it's crowded I got I'm glad I got here now because I want to get something good. I just wanted to show you guys this. I'll show you more inside. Bye. film where I don't usually film like I it's like it's not like I do it every day but when I do film occasionally the couple times that I have I mean I have filmed on the 101 but this is the 23 and this is going comes off the 101 and it goes towards Simi Valley Memorial Park and it gets really pretty up in here um, when we get over the grade up here there's a gorgeous view of the whole uh, I think it's still part of Canelo Valley which means rabbit Rabbit Valley and uh, yeah here so I thought I would film that and um, you know give you a little bit more look see into the area that I live in and also the area that I'm not going to be living in for that much longer relatively speaking I do plan on retiring in two to four years so um, but I don't know that could be just a pipe dream god I got a kid going into to college soon and you know, I don't have that much, I don't know. I just, I don't know. You know, I'll just see how long I can take the soul sucking job. But you know, my mom quit when she was my age and it was a different time though. And she went traveling all over the country, all over the world. You, okay, here comes the pretty cute. All over the world, uh, staying in youth hostels and stuff. But there's where me and my mom are, we're so much alike in uh, so many respects, but I can't do youth hostels and shared rooms and stuff. I think I could have, I think I could have if I um, wasn't a sick person because of my chronic illness, you know, makes it kind of, I need a little bit more privacy than most people, I think. Um, wow, they're already turning uh, brown again. They were so green. So see, it's pretty. Anyway, um, yeah, this is uh, going into uh, Moore Park. Oh, gosh, people are really looking at it. She's crazy than I am. So what I was going to say is, the reason I was talking about retiring is because then these videos 
Wendy's will be online and I'll go, oh, I'm gonna go down the, the 23 today. So I'll just go online and look at these videos because once it's online, it's online forever, right? No matter what you try to do. <laughs> so, anyway, isn't this pretty? It was greener a couple of weeks ago, but it was also right when it was um, in the rain. We had more rain here this year than I can remember. So, yeah. Anyway, so this is the 23 going into Moore Park Simi, and then eventually it takes you into the valley. As soon as it turns up here, it starts paralleling the 101, I think, going into the valley. I'm going to get over because I've got some people coming up behind me that are typical California Ricky racers. You know, I never realized how fast I drove until I got started filming a couple times, and then I would listen to my acceleration on the film, and it's like, geez, I drive fast. So, yeah, don't get scared, though, because I am paying attention, and I've been driving a long time. So there's a pretty nice little uh, driving range up there on the Tierra Rajada. That's not it. We have to go all the way to uh, to see me to Stearns uh, exit, which is not the Stearns Wharf in Santa Barbara. Completely different. <laughs> anyway, so just thought I would share, and then later I'll probably get online and or I'll try to cap off this little vlog, if you will, with some uh, something, some kind of artwork today. All right, you guys. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Hi guys, I just wanted to show you the golf course. She's over there on the other side of that hedge hitting some balls and I don't want to bug her. She went up, you know, they're so weird when it comes to um, being around their parents, you know, so I don't, like I said, I don't walk with her and just usually let her go. But there's tons of kids here. It's going to be a good field today, very competitive. Um, it's a gorgeous day in Southern California for a golf game. I used to golf. Not anymore. Um, it's too expensive to have us both doing it. So, it's so important to just do that. So, I will talk to you guys. I had to... This lady's super nice right there, but she yammers too much. And she talks when the kids are trying to hit the ball, so I just had to get a ball. I like her, though. But uh, her etiquette needs to be more. Anyway, um... I'm going to go back and sit down now that she's not there. <laughs> I'm just now leaving the golf course. I dropped off my kid. It's 101 degrees in the parked car. And, uh, yeah, these kids are out here golfing today. And there's not too many parents following, even if the kids wanted to do it. I'm sure some of the parents are like, no, that's okay. You're on your own. This is your gig. But, um, yeah. So, now I'm off to pick up some taco fixings. Because when she gets home tonight, she's going to be starving. Tries not to eat too much when she's out uh, golfing. Because it just, I think all of their energy goes to digestion. And so, she just has, like... Today I just gave her some nuts and some strawberries and a cereal bar and a lot of ice and some Gatorade and some water. So hopefully, hopefully she'll have a really good day today. I'm hoping that she does. I'm trying to leave this on just so I can show you this little creek out here. Pond. I think it's probably man-made. That's pretty. Well, there you go. That's pretty. Anyway, is she out there? Do I see her anywhere? I don't see her anywhere. So anyway, you guys think positive thoughts, but by the time you see all this, it will be a done deal. So. Anyway, what a pretty day for a golf. Talk to you soon. Hi guys, it's me. I'm going to just um, button up this little video. Most of it was uh, driving around today with me, but that's okay. I'm just going to um, finish it with doing something in this book right here. Um, this is my business page or business envelope journal. Look how loose that is. That's all right, right? Hey, it is what it is. I don't want to do a lot. I just want to do a little. Um, I did some painting papers last night, and I'd really rather work on those later. But right now, you know what I need to do? I need to. I need to um, pay attention to my, 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 my place. It's like I don't know about you, but everything in the world is getting um, 
uh, left behind because I'm so busy doing sitting at this desk playing I'm playing artist, which <laughs> I know I'm not, but um, so yeah, I'm just gonna grab and glue. Let's see what I got here. Let's just we got some junk. Let's just, let's, so I don't have to keep fighting. So anyway. We got an ostrich farm. We should make a pocket for that. Let's make a pocket for that. Look for here. Let's do it one up here. So anyway, um, yeah, my kid's still out golfing right now, and um, I'm really excited about her uh, day today. I hope she has a good day. You know, I really do. Um, she's a good kid, and and um. Oh, she needs a break though. We both need a break. It's so funny. She's like, one time we were, both of us were feeling pretty darn sad. And she's like, Mom, when's our ship gonna come in? <laughs> I said, you know, because it seems like forever, you know, everybody seemed to be doing so well, which we're ha happy for people when they're doing well. Don't get me wrong. We are so happy for people when they're doing well. You know, when good things happen to good people, it's it's awesome. We're happy, you know. But sometimes it's like, wow, when are we gonna get any good news? <laughs> it's so funny. She's so cute, you know. Like, mom, when's our ship gonna come in? I said, I don't know. I'll take a. How about a? I'll take one of those uh, round things that they save kids on at the swimming pool. We'll take one of those. How about you know, one of those? We'll just that would be fine with me. So anyway, just we're just. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard, you know. She's had some rough road, you know, rough rows to hoe, I guess, if you will. And, um, you know, I get it. I go, but, you know, life isn't always easy. When you're a single mom and, um, you know, and we live in such a nice area that these kids are spoiled. It's ridiculous. It, no, I mean, it's seriously ridiculous. And, um, she knows it though. She gets it, you know. She gets that these kids are out of control, ridiculously spoiled. So, um, yeah. I mean, she doesn't go without, but she doesn't get half, not even half. Like today, she's playing golf with Pete Rose's um, girlfriend's daughter, who is adorable. She's such a sweet girl. Her name's Cassie, and we love her. And the mom um, is really sweet, too. And I was kind of hoping that she'd be there today so we could chat. Because last time I, I took Lauren to the golf course, I think her name's Kathy. She was there, and we chatted. And, oh, just she's just funny and cute and just super sweet. But, I mean, they're well-to-do, you know. They, they're very well-to-do, and we're not. So, But they don't act, they didn't act, you know, all like all that, though. You know, they didn't, they weren't, they're not snobs or anything, so... Which is kind of nice, because I don't like snobby people. I don't know, I, you know, I don't do, oh, what should we use? This? Oh, this, was a, this wasn't upside down, you guys. So, anyway, so, and there we go. So, I want to do an art page someday, but I haven't been inspired. Because, um, number one, I'm scared, to, I'm afraid to do it because I'm not, I'm not good at it, you know? I, you know, I'm kind of trying to... Um, go, um, uh, go slow and, and, um, you know, be, be careful. I don't know what I mean by that. <laughs> slow and careful. I don't know what I meant by that. Well, I guess I'm just saying I'm a little nervous about, you know, doing too much because I don't want people to think I think I'm all that because, or even that I'm, you know, I'm just not, I'm not an artist, but I'm sure ha I'm having fun. I'm having fun playing with paint and paper. I know you guys can all relate to that. I think these came from Sarah. I think she's, yeah, Sarah online in Facebook. She sent me some earrings and that was from the, from that. Um, so that should be so cool. These came from Haley. Aren't they pretty? So pretty. Yeah, I think I'll put one here. Actually, I want to save those for special, special, something special, something special. I'm hoping Haley's doing okay today or lately because she had a gnarly bug bite. And um, I think she did okay. Was the last I heard, she was doing okay. So, all right, there's that. So, what else do we got? Oh, some bloom. Use that somewhere. I need to make some tags and whatnot, don't I? What's this? So. 
I should try to doodle more, you guys. Should I try to learn to doodle? Oh, I bought a book today at, at the um at the uh, at the Friends of the Library, and um it's like a do called Doodle Bug. It's for kids, but I thought, oh, I'm a, I want to be a Doodle Bug. <laughs> so I want to be a Doodle Bug. I can't doodle to save my noodle. I cannot. I just don't know how. So I basically want to put this down here. Yeah, that'd be pretty. So, anyway. So, um, last night I was watching, um, when I was doing my painty papers last night when I couldn't sleep, I posted them on Facebook. I plan on, and I just showed you just a second ago. I plan on, um, um, what am I going to do? I plan on, uh, Layering them up later with some something, you know, I don't know. I don't know what. But, but yeah, so last night I was watching um, the Poodle, what's her name? Stacy Poodles. I'll show you. Well, I can't show you right now, and I don't know how to show you in the thing, so someday I'll figure it out and I'll tell you what I mean. But she was doing bubbles, making bubble paper last night. Oh my gosh, it was so cute. She's hilarious. She's like, you jackass. And <laughs> when something gets in her, when something freaks her out, you know, just, just jackass. She's just no hold bars kind of gal, and I really think she's funny. She's a hoot. She's hilarious. So. See, I'm not a doodler. This is awful, but. And that's good for now, right? Something, a little something. I'm trying to make a word here. Love. And a peace sign. There. So, a little pocket or something, something. Let's put a string in there. So, um, what else? I'm just trying to think of something to tell you guys. It's interesting. I don't have anything interesting. But... You know, I like to go online and hang out with somebody who's just doing a little bit something, a little bit of nothing. I kind of, I kind of like doing that. So if you like to do a little bit of nothing sometimes, just pop by and visit me. If you see anything that you have to have that's laying on the table, like you know, I mean, if there's any, you know, you know, let me know. Happy to have, I'll be happy to share. I don't have a lot of stuff, but I'm a sharer, that's for sure. I got it. Get some. That's cute, right? Cute. I gotta get some happy mail out. I wanna send some surprises out. You know. I don't know what I wanna do with these. I wanna do them right down there. Anyway, so I said I would do a little bit of art though today. So um, to finish off that video. The driving video so that's basically why i got online to do this just to do a little bit of something just to finish off that video you know a little bit of grab and glue as cindy Etter calls it who i adore she just did a video hop go look at cindy Etter's uh video hop mike deacon and this guy i don't know his name right now he, he lives in vegas from, from what i gathered from the video and he did a shoe. Oh my God! It's so he altered a, sh a freaking hooker shoe. <laughs> it's beautiful. And Mike Deacon, his was phenomenal. Um, they were all phenomenal. Shannon Green's was beautiful. The way she took a man's face and tr and transformed it. <laughs> oh, it was really good. And then Cindy Utters was gorgeous. And I love the way um, they're all just. I can't even say enough about about all of them. There's like four or five of them. So go online and go look up Shannon Green and go look at, um, what did she call it? I think she called it, oh crap. I have no memory, you guys. I'm probably gonna end up with dementia at the rate I'm going on. I'm not trying to be funny because I don't think there's anything funny about it. Um, I just kind of worry about that because I do forget a lot. And, um, oh look at, that's that thing that can go right by you. There. So this is just a silly little page. 
with a silly little on a little silly little flower with a, one of these blings on it. So um, right there, no, right in the middle. So yeah, so go check out that that hop. I woke up to that this morning. It was so wonderful. I went, I made my coffee and fed the cats and came back to bed and and watched that video hop and I t thoroughly enjoyed every bit of. That's too big. Thoroughly enjoyed. Can you see what I'm doing, you guys? I'm sorry. I'm looking for some bling right here to put in the middle of that. So I just wanted to finish up the video with a little something something. So here's the little something something. And I'm sure it's not all that, that's for sure. And again, it's just a little glab, grab and glue. Glab and glue. So, um, okay. that's a little pocket. I'm going to make it one. So do you remember where I got these? I got these when I was cutting those papers. Um, I should, I should have left some white. I, I have so, I'm such an amateur. <laughs> I suck at this. Anyway, there, just a little something. Um, what was in? See, I told you, I'm not kidding. I just wanted to finish this up with a little something for you, so. I know I was saying something, and when I get done with my video, I'm going to say, oh, that's what I was saying. Uh, isn't it pretty? I think that's kind of a shabby chicy fan, which I'm really into shabby chic right now. All right, I'm going to go. I just wanted to add something to the video, a little, a little bit of a, a little bit of something, something. So there it is. <laughs> it's not much, but it is what it is. So, and I like, I like the bottom. I like this part. All right, you guys, have a great day. I'll talk to you soon, okay? Bye.